Okay, without us talking about mock-ups, group versus ungroup, say we have three shapes. We're just gonna do different types of shapes. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up, all three different colors. I'll just do a smaller one right here. Now, say if you were designing this and you had to like keep moving it, but you don't feel like going over the whole thing to move it or like doing this and being like, okay, I'm gonna put this right here. And then this one was for sure right there. Instead, let's go ahead and undo that. Instead of selecting the whole thing or grabbing the thing individually and trying to put them back together, just select all of them. And you can press group under quick actions or you can go to object and then press group right here. Now what this does is essentially group them all together. So these all act as one, but no, it's three, but it's stuck together like one. Now, just because it's grouped doesn't mean you know, it's just gonna stay like this. You can't move the other. You can either double click that object. This will allow you to move it around wherever you want. And then as soon as you double click out of it again, these are still grouped. They still remain grouped. Now you can do the same thing if you click A on your keyboard and then move around it because the selection tool is going to like select all of it as a whole as a group but the direct selection tool allows you to select that one object out of that group and move it individually so again i can move this all the way over here but once i click out of it boom it's still grouped until i literally go to object and then ungroup again and then boom you can do whatever you want move them around it's all up to you but once you group it it's together in mock-up terms like you have a bunch of layers when it comes to a single mock-up. Here's the hoodie, here's the logo, the zipper, the pockets, and everything. Group is that whenever you select it, it's all gonna move. If I didn't do this, let's ungroup it all, I would just be selecting the silhouette and then all the details would be left behind. You get what I'm saying? But if I select all this, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't want the logo with it. I just want the hoodie to be all as one. I don't want to worry about all the details falling off. That's okay. Just select all the parts on the hoodie, select group, and now it is all one, but they are still their own layers. You know what I'm saying? Still their own person, just all connected. If you were to color it, you wouldn't just go to the fill and do that because that's literally changing the color of everything down to the zipper. If you're going to color something individually, I suggest going to the direct selection tool and then changing the fill or stroke whatever you're using but yeah that is the end of the tutorial again this is going to be more short form tutorials i hope you guys like this content let me know what video you guys want to see next if you're wondering where to get the mock-ups just go to the link in the bio or livelylist.com for the mock-ups tech packs and more and don't forget to use code vector for 10 percent off